Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're jumping right into the action in our flawless run. This is me playing Legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen unmodded and uh, going all ham on the game. It's time for Operation Ancient Hammer, which gives us not only the joy to play a Protect the Device mission, but also the joy of going into a mission where we get an engineer. So let's rock. Good, let's give it a go. We need to go there. Ten four. That is quite a bit of distance. And now we are also fighting against snakes. Not great. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Good. Let's try to engage that pack alone. No. Oh no. Another pack. Fantastic. Location confirmed. Okay, now we need to try to solo pull that uh, pack. I don't want to fight against both of them at the same time. Sniper here. The EDM moves to here. Good to go. Move, move, move. Okay, we're overloading this side and are trying to push in. In starter missions, the uh, the device still has plenty of hit points, so no need to worry. Later, however, that is no longer the case. Then you definitely need to start to worry. If we can deal six points of damage here, the explosion would take the others down. Let's try that, come on. Oh, okay, very nice. Okay, well that was a mistake, my dude. At the same time, we don't want to trigger anything. Hmm. Not great. Not great. Here, catch. Removal of more cover. Okay, that's good. And let's kill the stun monster, shall we? No, we shall not. Well, in that case, what we need is a flashbang. I don't want to deal with tongue grab or with poison. Hmm. It just has become substantially more difficult because all of a sudden there is a good chance that we're not flawlessing this mission, but instead are going to get uh, very much jump dead. Good, Stun Lancer needs to die. I think there is. No one disagreeing with that. You know what? Reload. Break the cover and then it's just shotgun to the face. 
two, four, six. Six to eight points, thanks to the sword breakthrough. That's a solid kill. Okay, Elarium Core. All right, I'm back. Well, that was a bit of a doozy, wasn't it? So I needed to take care of something in real life. So sorry for the break. It's a bit hectic here. Uh, we killed a double pack and we're left with five actions, which is good. And a chosen who is immune to melee, immune to overwatch, um, hates close range attacks and hates reapers. Okay, cool. Um, but might be doable. So if you do have problems with the assassin, get a battle scanners, research the trooper autopsy and do it. Um, it will hard counter her um, and you will have a much easier time. So this here is a bridge, um, which you can see because the rain is higher than here. And she started right underneath the bridge. Um, she does have as much movement as XCOM does if she's non-revealed, which means from here her first move was approximately to here. But she had the second one, now we need to check uh, what is up. We haven't heard any glass uh, overall, which means she couldn't have jumped through here. This is a tech, this is a tech, this is a tech, good. She, and this and this as well, so she hasn't come through any of uh, the glass. Uh, double checking for the doors. This door is closed. This one is closed and this one here would not be a straight path So she would not go through that which means it's unlikely that she's um, Inside of the building so movement two from here Would bring her either to this section or to this section. She likes uh, mm, Full cover more than half cover. So whenever she can take it uh, she goes for half uh, for full cover instead of half cover which means she's either here or here or here that would be my deduction or best guess okay. so let's see if we can maybe get her out of her um, of her stealth this here would take away all of the full cover and with uh, taking away full cover also means that the uh, mm, that the roof breaks, which would mean fall damage on top of it if she's there. If not, it's a wasted grenade. So that worked okay. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. But it seems we haven't triggered her because I haven't heard a speech. She's just visible, which in return means if I can stay out of her uh, vision range, then we can actually work very well with that because she gets no action this turn in retaliation to what we've just done. And here for here a protocol yourself and hunker down because you're the most likely target all right she vanishes again that is unfortunate well, let's try to do that again huh so she was here she can traverse uh, distances directly. Vanishing vin uh, wind will break glass if she vanishes through it. So she's not back here. She's not back there. She could be down here. That's a possibility. Or she jumped back up here, which would be nasty. Go to here. That would spot all of these areas out. That's actually a good move. Let's try that. 
Got you, D two, four, two. <laughs> All right, let's embrace uh, that for a second. Nice, good brittle hit. Please, shut up. And take the shotgun to the face. Close one, close one, close one. Fabulous. So, inappropriate Murphy for staying back. Got a nice promotion, lightning hands all the way. And I think we got some pawns here. I like that. The DM and Wilson are now best friends. Elarium Core, Viper Corpse, uh, that is good. And we got another Engineer Plus countered Stiletto Rounds. Continuing to excavate. Yeah, we're doing very well so far. More resistance context, that's great. Um, let's continue making contact because that's important and then we're going to get that extra resistance contact. Uh, when you are maxed out on contacts, it's much more likely that that will spawn on the Geo escape. And that's really good. I value res uh, free resistance contacts very highly. We got ourselves a new sniper. Let's just double check. Uh, Grenadiers need another Reaper, two, uh, another Ranger, two Snipers, three Specialists, it's good. Um, which means next up, we're going for another Ranger. Good, finally, we got a training center look at that seven great uh, got untouchable oh my lord that is fantastic that's a great ability specifically for a flawless run excellent I think um, we've been picking up some weird transmissions lately it sounds a little I think we're going to wait for the lieutenant uh, tier Dead Eye is, on the other hand, Dead Eye is not bad. It's actually good. We're going to go into that. I need power now. Lots of it. Specialists. Uh, I very much like Haywire Protocol. So, 8.5 will get that. Grenadier. Oh, nice. Another untouchable. <laughs> The game is good to us. It's very good to us. Um, Guardian isn't bad. Isn't great either. So we're going to wait for it for now. And the DM finally could go for Phantom as well. Not too bad, specifically when our um, when our Reaper is uh, not available. Because that will mean that uh, the DM can scout to a certain degree. So I'll go into it. And we'll use the other points a bit later. So great. Training center, huge power boost right away, as you can see. Good. Fantastic, we found the second chosen. 
warned us that one of the chosen has been terrorizing the area for some time now. It's all right, Central. Thank you. So yep, it's okay. Don't worry. Good. We could make more contact there, um, but for now, let's get that extra resistance contact. We're good. And there we go. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Nice, got a promotion out of it as well. So before we're continuing, uh, that here means Captain Anders is Captain Anders. Uh, going to go for Implacable. And uh, now, of course, everybody will be like, wow, Psycho and Implacable over uh, Bladestorm. How uh, how would you dare to do that? For Sardis, Implacable is actually really good. Um, and also, you can take both. Uh, there is Death from Above, which will make him an absolute killer machine. Oh, my Lord, Anders, uh, what have you done? Just made yourself a absolute menace. Holy moly, we're going to go for Phantom on him as well. And I don't want to bond him with Lyrical because we got 8.5 as the prime specialist and maybe these two can actually learn to love each other in a platonic way. Okay, uh, well now that that is off of uh, the table we can finally get squad size 2 which means 6 people Hunter's Instinct uh, would kick in that is great uh, we don't we have theoretically have the supplies but it's not needed right now let's just double check what else we can do we could get a Templar which I am madly in favor of we could uh, get um, form that uh, threshold uh, bond uh, threshold uh, which would automatically bond the two so that's not bad either I like the idea of it actually uh, we could reduce the avatar progress further which again is not a bad idea but I think seven days how, how long until hmm. tell you what we're going to do the soldier bond locate faction will happen next uh, mm, uh, next month and that will give us a hopefully higher level uh, Templar. I'm not sure if the initial one is always a rookie or if you can get a higher level one, so not sure. Um, but Soldier's Bond will definitely be helpful. Uh, how about we're using Enders here. The supplies are okay and let's confirm that the two of them will get and bond together and there's the next retaliation site which we're going to do right away So since the Chosen appeared on the last mission, she won't be at the retaliation site. Um, let's see who we want to pick up for that one. Clearly we want to pick up Ghost, Inappropriate Murphy makes sense. Um, then Roro is Andrea of Zell, okay so those two here. Wilson the second in the DM. Um, I would like to give Lyrical an option to uh, get more experience. And we could uh, go with the Skirmisher uh, to level up uh, the Skirmisher as well. Um, it's not a bad unit, uh, specifically in the beginning parts of uh, the game. Could also go for another specialist, but 
or or we're going for another grenadier and I'm just going to rock dual grenadier hmm now let's do specialist because I want uh, the um, grappling hook that allows us to move quickly very quickly can we build any item that is helpful uh, not so much I mean medkit yes we could do that you know what let's do that uh, lyrical gets a medkit because why not plenty of grenades uh, flashbang in the back line and we're just going to take more grenades do we have any PCSs or weapon upgrades no all right then that is that difficulty moderate here we go All right, so we landed finally uh, squad size six. That is good for the second month. Very good indeed. We're pushing it forward. And this is uh, one of the retaliation missions where you're having support from the locals. Let me just double check. All right, so there's the first patrol over there. Fair enough. We, the skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle served us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. Order confirmed. On the move. It's interesting that the skirmisher explains to you who they are and what the class can do. <laughs> okay, listen. We're all good. Are we fighting against a different chosen? Yeah, the hunter. Finalmente. Is immune to explosions, but still uh, get shreds by the, uh, shredded by them. Defense increases after the first attack uh, of every turn. That is a problem. Um, easy to hug from high ground. Hates Templars, which we need to get. Dangerous out here. Because the Templar can solo him. Commander, one of the Chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. Commander, we should assume whatever Advent is using for fuel is extremely volatile. Avoid giving them any opportunity to detonate those tanks. Alright. We're not giving them any opportunity to detonate anything. Oh yeah. Nope. Inappropriate Murphy, that was not good. Let's try it again. Good. One down. We don't want to pull the second pack. So that's the important part about it. I think the second pack is over here. Again, careful not to trigger anything or anyone. Moving up. All right, there we go. Second pack.
Tracking shot on to our sniper, which is not the worst thing that could have happened. No, 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 no. Good, moving to here just in case we need some more support. I think we can explode those large tanks. Uh, no, I was wrong, we cannot do that. Menace one five, the chosen hunter is targeting your position from long range. You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. We'll do exactly that. A little bit of a running maneuver here. Sector has uh, full cover, which we of course don't like. This should explode the tanks and kill the sector. All right, I stand corrected. Good. Moving on target location. The sky is back there. So we're just going to play it safe. There's no reason to take any risks. Nope, we're just going to overwatch. Yep, double move as expected. Nice little tracking uh, tracking shot. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. I go. Moves out of the tracking shot. Then opens the door. So that we have a bit more grenade throwing options. I know that I can do it. It's going to bounce through the floor on top of him. Done it in the past. Don't let me down, XCOM. All right, we're going to do something else, which is using an actual grenade here to finish this guy. Resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help 
the other survivors. I forgot that we had um, concealment here. So the overwatch shot a little bit earlier was uh, not going to work out. Moving as ordered. Moving up, just double checking. And with that, we can actually start moving forward. Sniper, do we still have an option to get up on top of this? Yes, we do. I'm all over it. And we're just going to reload. Okay, cool. Units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards. Yeah, but down. we got uh, some resistance here. operatives ourselves, and they're doing actually very well. That's Stun Lancer, for instance. And it's just uh, down. No. You are wrong as uh, as per the usual, dear chosen. I can smell the fear on you. My life is in your hands. The invaders send a patrol. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a fabulous one. Good. Fantastic. Let's hope they are coming a bit closer and then we're good to go. Uh, too dangerous when uh, rooftop is burning. We might en end up with an explosion and I don't want that to happen. Next round we can grapple again, so we're, we should be fine. are coming. You guys actually should take some cover instead of just standing in the open. It's a mild suggestion for your own tactics. Face palm. So that's one down. And inappropriate Murphy just got the other one nicely down. Keep in mind there are still faceless ones down there, so don't want to take any risks. Covering now. No trespassers. Moving to Overwatch. 
Fantastic. Don't want to just rush in and then they are faceless ones. Okay, well, more tracking shot. Fantastic. No, 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 you could have gone here. D okay, well, whatever. The AI isn't great both ways by the way but it hurts more if you if you see it from your side very nice hit Nah, we don't want to move in. They are still stun monster. Uh, they are still faceless ones. Bit of a weird position, I know, but I do have a plan. Last time the grenade didn't work out. Uh, this time I need to sacrifice one of the civilians. Sucks, but at least the stun lancer is gone. And I think now it's only the chosen. Reloading here. Placing the weapon. This will deal zero damage, but at least removes his armor I need more ammo I think we can't deal enough damage to fully get uh, the chosen down hence uh, let's Not trigger him this turn, but instead next turn. Good. Reloading here, and we're overwatching. And there is the faceless one, of course. Lots of movement, dude, but you're not doing anything.
Good. Faces one takes damage. Takes even more damage. I'm watching you. Heading to that location. We're moving to the second floor, which is still high ground. Alright, minimum damage. Not great, but okay. And uh, Wilson down here. We'll get a little bit closer. That should be the kill. Good job, Wilson. Now we're not going to engage yet. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and Overwatch. Next turn. Ah, maybe we're even Overwatch trapping him now. Yep, he is engaged. He will get his turn, I think. Unfortunately. Got a good amount of damage onto him. Less and fight more. Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. There we go. Good. Removing cover. This will deal zero damage to him, but at least the cover is gone. Very nice. Now where's the skill in that? Getting as close as possible to him so that we're maximizing our chance to hit him. Good shot. I don't get wounded often, but when I do, it makes me angry. Most of my targets never get a chance to shoot back. Now nah, we're going to go with a hundred percent shot. We got another faces one, which I think will give us a mimic beacon. Good, that's the sec uh, second uh, mission for uh, this episode. We're kind of cruising through them so far. And hopefully we get a couple of promotions out of them. Oh yeah, we got some. Medical protocol for Lyrical. Uh, we're going for Shadow Step for sure. Shredding is fantastic.
but Silent Killer is also very very good. Matter of fact, we're going to use both. Um, before we're bonding them, what would that include? No, 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 I already mentioned Anders uh, needs to bond uh, with uh, 85. Good, supplies, not what we need right now. We need more contacts. And maybe another scientist. So I would assume the next mission is going to be rescue a scientist or one of those special council missions. It was your intention to aggravate me further by seeking the aid of those traitorous dogs. And you have succeeded. Good, look at that. Resistance uh, contacts go up. More into which, yeah. Sort of, we could use. Resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down. Yeah, we need uh, the um, the towers next. on the local resistance forces in that area. I think what I will do is Intel is useless. Uh, mm, that early in the game can just scan at the Reapers uh, headquarter and get the same out of it. Supplies are typically not worth it as well. So I am wondering if we just want to build faster. Because all of this here could require a bit of a speed up. We're okay on Intel. Might as well just use uh, the skirmishers uh, faction to build much much faster. Good, got another ranger and I think next up we are going to put in another sharpshooter. Cool. Sabotage, okay, understood. And what is he doing? Uh, just reduction of income. That would suck. Collateral damage wouldn't be nice as well. So either way is not great. That extra shredding, I think we're going to keep that. And we now have plenty of supplies. Which currently we don't need, so I am just going to build faster. Coming to uh, uh, the missions in a second. So, soldier bonds. We want um, 85 to be bonded. Very good. That's a great team. Now, um... Promotion and a sabotage, that would be nice. Another engineer wouldn't be bad. But this here would also be great, so I think we're just going to hunt the Chosen after getting our... after getting our faction hero here. Wilson is tired, so might as well take a low level sharpshooter. Very good. Almost at magnetic weapons. Perfect time to spawn a mission now. Power relay now operational. Good, we got the power relay. Uh, we don't have another operated there and I need supplies for the weapon upgrade so Avenger plotting new course. magnetic weapons would be a really strong upgrade I've made a number of interesting Commander, with the fantastic currently in cold story we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible it's an autopsy for mind shield nothing wrong with that 
testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their... Uh, that breakthrough is actually good as well. Reusing um, combat sims. You know what? Let's do that. In terms of building items, uh, we can... With Alois, 20. We don't have enough to get everything upgraded. I want the shotgun first. And then we don't have enough Alois at the moment to upgrade the rest. Well, scratch that. We just got enough Alois. Excavation starts. I think we need to reassign you over here. And next up we go for infirmary three. Well, that's enough for the infirmary. So you can actually excavate. The moment that we have more money, we can start building it. The chosen aren't going to stop all resistance comms um, the you know what we're going resistance comms I want to snowball this hard and fast we don't have any capacity to spare which means we can't expand our facilities further more alien facilities more avatar project progress not surprising and we got money plus build faster next up after the re uh, breakthrough I think we're going to go uh, for the resistance towers let's upgrade items rifles yes pistol bow pop all right And there we go. We got a couple of missions. We're going to do that in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.